there are many puzzling things about the world of fashion, uh, one of the most confounding is right under our noses. Namely, why do men's shirts have their buttons on the right side, while women's have them on the wrong side? Who says it's the wrong side? How come yours are on the wrong side? <laughs> you got me. I'm not sure. I don't know. Clearly another job for Len Ventresca, Fashion Answerman. Answer who, as operator of one of the area's only old school tailoring shops in Doylestown, confirms that there are two main theories for the disparity. Number one... Men are just backwards. Well, okay, three main theories, but the other two go back to medieval times, when a queen obviously needed all the help she could get just putting on her clothes. Kings and queens had personal valets, so it was easier for someone to button and dress the female because it was buttoned the opposite way. Modern times, they probably kept it that way so dry cleaners could tell the difference between a man's blouse and a lady's blouse. Also, man's jackets open from the right so they could easily access their sword from the right. Of course, besides providing ready access for a sword, some garments, like a, like a men's trench coat, uh, provide many other accessories that also make them literally ready for the field of battle, just as they were in the trenches of World War I, and even earlier during the Boer War in the deserts of Africa. You have your rifle patch here for where the butt of the rifle was against your shoulder. Is that what this is for? That's what yeah, that's for. They also made these little clips here to keep the sand from going in your jacket. That's why you have belts on your sleeves here. Same thing with the belt around the waist. Along with other accessories that are puzzling to modern day civilians. We're just looking for some Dick Tracy sheep. What are these? I haven't the faintest idea. Yeah, I've been trying to figure that out for years. To hold your keys. Get a hook a dog onto it and walk it, maybe. <laughs> that's your little grenade clips where you hung, hung your grenade from. This was for your gas mask during the chemical warfare in World War I. It would hang over your shoulder, and then when you needed it, you just put it on. Now it's just strictly decoration. But in these modern times, our features, well, they can still come in handy for the well-dressed and historically savvy fashion plates who knows the proper uses for his wardrobe's often overlooked features. I'm John Pollock, Channel 6 Action News.